welcome to our family time. It's no. food and wine. Oh. Welcome to the festival yard. Welcome to the festival yard. Look at this. We're at Disney's Fine Arts. See this? But tonight is not about the art. Even though this is called Festival of the Arts, we're going to focus today. We're going to focus today on the culinary arts. All most of the, like our performances that we actually want to see are closed down. One because it's raining, and two because it is nighttime. So we're gonna go check out a bunch of the food tonight. We'll come back tomorrow morning for the art stuff. Right? Good Epcot weekend. Another festival. I'm excited. We get we came to this spot on chance last year, and now we're gonna own it. Crazy. Our last trip before we move. Yeah. The project. It's Hi. almost hey. Oh, so here's Pop Eats Modern Cuisine. Look at the prices. I saw this online when I saw people on this that came at opening for Instagram. I think the prices they've reduced since last year, so that'll be exciting to see. And right here we are by the Mexico Pavilion. I'm gonna butcher that name, so I'm not even gonna say it. But I think Sarah was feeling it. Lamb, chiles, chiles, chiles. Well, the, the tacos is two corn tar tortilla tacos. But it's ten dollars. True. Okay. Do you want to skip this then, or do you want to get the, the lamb? Because I want to get this, but I don't. I want. Yeah, that looks a, really good. I want to get a lot of things, a lesser. Right, we're looking for like maybe five things tonight. Yeah. And like the six dollar right? Yeah. Okay, you can't tell in size right now, but right there is a giant balloon, and we Sarah goes out of the Sarah goes. What is that in the sky? It's just a giant balloon over China. We gotta go figure out what that is, cause super suspicious. Super suspicious. So here we are in China, the painted panda. And we got a coconut panda rice cake, crispy fried shrimp, and crystal moon cake sounds good. But here we are by the by the China Pavilion finally, and there's this balloon, and it's all fun stuff. Oh, maybe it's oh, it's probably a party. Okay. You think it's a party, or do you think it's there's a sign. Filming for Disney's fairy tale wedding special airing on Freeform. Twitching at Allison. Really? Uh, so the giant balloon was like a, a giant, a giant light to uh, to light up the whole area. But they're getting ready to film a little wedding, so there's literally like a reception setting in front of the China Pavilion. It looks super fancy, and we are next to. What, Germany? Next to Germany, we have a winner. Braised dishes inspired by the classic art of the, the 18th and 19th centuries. So we're gonna get the red wine braised short rib for 775. Is this gonna be extra good or just good? Extra, Your face was super good. Cool. Sorry. Look how perfect this this plate is. There's two of almost everything, and it's sitting on like mashed potatoes. This is the beef short rib with red wine. Are you super excited? Yeah. Take one more photo. Okay. And, and of course, on a garbage can. Watch, watch, watch. I apologize, everybody. This is pureed parsnip, and I only had balsamic in the puree, and it's so good. But look at this. That wasn't a good example. That wasn't. Here, I'll do this one. Look at how tender this is. That wasn't the best example either. But this piece right here just fell off. It's so good. We didn't have any of the beef yet. I just had the puree. Garlic. Did you have the balsamic on there too? Mm -hmm. Nice. So we're on that. First of all, that dish was amazing. But we're on the to Italy, and we've got here the lard di mangiare. Look at all this good stuff. Are we going with the fritters? Yeah, let's go get the fritters. We're gonna do the fritters. Well, well, well. Aren't we just in the middle of beautiful Italy? Oh, look at you, <laughs> just sitting here on your stoop eating some some fritas. Another twofer. Yeah. Oh my god. It's definitely sweet, but there's an arugula pesto in there, but it's like a sweet and savory dish. Mm. How's the pesto? That's sweet. It's good. So we talked to the cast member at the Italy booth, and they said in Italy they are much more heavy and like you can't really eat as many. And they're like sweeter. Full. Yeah, they're sweeter. So he said that these are better. Because they're not like they don't end up being a full meal. Like you could have this and go on to something else and not be done. Okay, so my review of the fritter was that my first words are that it was phenomenal. But it was very strange. Like I thought it was gonna be a fritter, 
like more like bread, but it was like the dough, and then inside was like lemon meringue. It was like so, so delicious. Did, did you agree? Yeah, it was a weird consistency, and I look really cool from this angle with the, <laughs> the, the building behind me, but it was really good. scallop here last year so that makes me want to get this the scallop was really good but this sounds really good but it sounds similar like a similar dish that we just had yeah we don't have to get something from here let's go to Morocco okay. Ooh. out with the pumpkin spice and in with the orange cream <laughs> alrighty we're gonna get the chirashi sushi and hippia pearl well lati dal whoa look at, I, look at that can we lick that clean? <laughs> is that a lot? Yeah. That looks, I don't even like that looks to me. I don't even know what it is. It looks all sweet. But there's some and salmon she said on it's there. It's pudding and it's tuna. Oh, tuna. Yeah. These are pearl pudding. It's little pearls, like in the. Um, not my stuff. Not uh, it's not rice. Like I thought it was rice pudding, like Sarah said, but it's like little pearls. Everything it's else. It's super though, good. Delicious. So if you took like the flavor and uniqueness together, just flavor, probably the beef. But like you can't get this at the other festivals. This is really good. You can get yeah. beef like dishes and other ones. The, um, the flavor presentation. Was and it was also filling too, like the size and the um, good portion, size and a good price. It was seven fifty. Six seventy five, I think. Oh. And it we was it was um it was sweet and savory, which was awesome. And the tuna was a really good taste, like flavor tuna and quality. Awesome. That's a lot coming from her because she's yeah. not she's new to the fish world. And um, Japan let us down a lot in, during the festival of the holidays. It kept them being closed. Food and and we weren't able to go there. Like we'd get excited to go, and then it'd be closed. So it's pretty fit. So we're here for the water. Right here. We're debating this might be our breakfast date tomorrow morning, since we're coming pretty pretty early in the morning. But here's the menu. Decorative dishes inspired by fine art of French cooking. I'm not even gonna amuse you with trying to pronounce, pronounce some of these. All right, here's this is the, the infamous Masterpiece Kitchen. This was the first stand we went to last year, and this is the one that we talked in, uh, talked about previously, that we got, Dom got the smoked salmon tartare, and we got the risotto, and the risotto was really good. Tartare was good, but too, not as good enough for the price that it's charging. But the triple chocolate mousse looked good. And I think we're going to skip this one today, but I really want the risotto again. But this is outside of Canada. All right, this is the this is the one we've been waiting the whole lagoon for. Is the deconstructed dish? Mm -hmm. I'm convinced that I got this deconstructed BLT at some point in my life, but we honestly don't know when it was because we have vlogs and they're not in them. No. But we're going to go with the deconstructed Reuben today True. for six fifty. And they got a BLT and deconstructed strawberry cheesecake down there. Oh, is it behind me in the so we're waiting for our deconstructed room, and this is the perfect example of the awesome part about Festival of the Arts is where it's taken a little longer, but this this cast over here literally has a pair of tweezers putting the right amount of ingredients on these dishes. It is super worth the wait. And I'm super excited. Look at this. Oh man, look at this. So we had a magical moment with this one, and it's the poached, it's the deconstructed BLT with pork belly with a poached egg on top. And tomato jam. And tomato jam. And then this is the deconstructed Reuben. Artistry right there. Yeah. Love it. No 
joke. This is a easily 45 seconds later from the last clip. Delicious or what? Yeah. What do you think I, is your favorite? I think I like the, the, um, Reuben? the Reuben more. I think I'd agree. The BLT was really good, but it was, the poached egg made it like a weird consistency after that kind of broke up. Still really good flavor, but the, the, the deconstructed Reuben, you come here for a Festival of the Arts this year, highly suggest the Reuben. It's salty, but it's really good. It's really good. All right, we're at the Odyssey Pavilion. And it's all the sweets. And we're gonna go on for the Wait, trio. These are oh. These are hors d'oeuvres and these are savory. Oh yeah, so hors d'oeuvres, savory, and then sweets. But we're doing the top one, right? This sounds good. I don't drink them. Pomegranate mule? I love pomegranate. Oh, that sounds good. I might have to get that soon. But we're gonna do the trio of savory croissant donuts. For sure? Yeah. No, I want the, this one. Is that okay? Because it's got the fine urban cheese with fresh herbs, chicken salad with uh, shaved fennel and fresh herbs, and spicy tuna with wasabi and seaweed salad. Also, Sarah saw something in the window, got a little sneak peek. The artwork, at least a portion of it this year. Let me just get a sneak peek before we get the food. Oh, oh there's a picture of Walt. It's all old attraction posters. It's really hot in here, by the way. Here, oh, it just has little popcorn pairings with the, the flight. And then there's the, yeah. The white chocolate. Oh, I didn't realize this was a demonstration. Everyone's drawing. Okay, so here's the trio of croissant donuts. This is not what I expected. So this one is the tuna and the seaweed salad. This one looks like the chicken salad, and then this one is the herb spread. I'm super excited. There's a class going on here. So far, what is this, the cream cheese? So far the cream cheese one for the win. But I haven't had the uh, the tuna. Just a few. I haven't had the tuna yet. Thickening up that line. Looks super fresh. Really good. Okay. What do you think is the best? I like the cream cheese herb spread still. That was really good on the croissants. That's the thing is the croissants stayed the crispest and the most delicious, so like overall it tasted the most like delicious. But I think the tuna had the most flavor, like multiple flavors. But I think the cream cheese takes it home for me. And with that we're done eating today for a Festival of the Arts. We'll be back tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow, but tomorrow's all about the art and maybe some some French some French bread and coffee in the morning, some cafe. Cafe? Un cafe. Peter says we have to go see that tomorrow. Because it's part of the art. You said there was Wee. tomorrow's the art. Give him a sneak peek. This Guardians of the Galaxy. There's a Guardians of the Galaxy poster. <laughs> There's Walt. Come up here. Come up here. There's a red car trolley. That was nice. Did you change your mind? Do you want to no. go in? No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, I think we're about to get a spot ready for it. Ooh, she's feeling it. She's grooving it. Something about uh, Epcot Festival gets in our blood and we're just like, we're okay, in it. a little it. bit ago, I wasn't full, but then we went to Club Cool and I drank like five 16. and now. We have a confession. Peter Burkhart decided what his next tattoo is. And it's gonna be. That symbol Water right color there. and everything. No, 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 no. It's gonna be all black. Oh yeah. Just like my okay. Mickey tattoo. Like this is a Mickey Mouse black silhouette, but filled in. It'll be like that, but on this arm. So if you know any tattoo artists in the Central Florida area, please leave a comment down below. Um, thanks. Reflections of Earth. <laughs> Miss America. 
From one middle child to another. What? Even in the middle of the From one middle child to another what? You just love each other. <laughs> She's even in the middle of the three girls. We're back at the movies. We're going to see I, I Tanya. I will tell you later, my family's got a deep history of uh, figure skating love. E5 and 6. <laughs> Here we go, get ready for some figure skating drama! We are home. Sarah's getting ready for bed because it is late. We didn't realize how late we'd be out, I don't think. But it's okay, we wanted to see the movie for a while. It was good, it was really different with like, I'm sure many of you viewers like know about the Tanya Harding stories from back in the day. Um, but it was, it was like, cinematography wise, it was really good, but it's late. Festival of the Arts was delicious. It was so good. I can't wait to have any more dishes, but we gotta go to bed because we gotta get up. Because we're going straight back to Epcot to go see all the artwork. So with that, it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>